Uh, yeah, can I have a butter caramel coconut latte iced um, large? Yeah, anything else? Nope, that's it. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to a surprise midweek vlog upload. I am going to the Bremerton Flea Market, and I found it just strolling around on Instagram, looking for some like thrifty things in my area to follow, and then the Bremerton Flea Market popped up, and I was like, dude, and it said Saturdays. It's doing like a Saturday thing. So I just had to go find out what it was all about. It's about a 40 minute drive from where I live, so not too bad. And I'm just gonna go check it out. I have a list of things that I I need. Here, sorry, you probably wanna see my eyes. I just thought I would do, since my last video, I had to edit so much stuff out because I had over filmed a thrift haul and try on. Um, I figured that I would do this as a separate video on its own, completely dedicated to the Bremerton flea market and what I find. Anyway, I'm babbling. <laughs> it's easy to do when I have all this freedom. So I'm gonna um, get going. I'll see you when I get there. Take a look at yourself. Take exit 36. Oh, you accuse me. couple of panic attacks later. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know why I'm like this, but I just am. This is it. That's it. I'm gonna flip a bench in. Yeah. With a fucking bitch, yeah. I'm the other guy. All right, we are here. I have made it. Um, I will have panic attacks when driving out of nowhere. Like it just comes out of. Oh my god, look at these sunflowers. Oh my gosh, I'll show you guys here in a second. Um. And I had a panic attack right before I got on the bridge. And it's it's like a claustrophobia induced panic attack where I'm stuck somewhere and I can't, like there's no way out. And so for some reason, like going across the bridge triggered that, you know, even though it's such a short amount of time, the panic is so intense that I feel like I'm gonna like actually black out and that scares me. But if I crank the AC and do that the whole way, I'm usually okay. So it could have been also triggered by like not really having any food yet and it's noon. It's just I got up, I had coffee, and then I've just been like getting ready. So I had a protein bar and my coffee and I feel better. So then um, at somewhere out here, I would like to get some lunch. If I'm in Britain, I might as well. Bremerton. I always get them confused. Bremerton. I'm gonna go walk around. I, I'm gonna film with my phone probably just because I don't want to look really obvious unless I feel comfortable whipping this thing out <laughs> but look at these sunflowers look at these beautiful sunflowers somebody is growing a little sunflower garden that is absolutely beautiful anyway the place we're going is here Mercan Mer mercantile or mercantile which one is it i think it's mercantile not merc <laughs> okay i'm going
I, sorry, this is crooked. It's, it's my thing. It's me, it's not you. Um, I just finished up. I actually got a bunch of really cute vintage clothing and a piece of furniture. That was unexpected. Wasn't even looking for it, but it's so perfect. I had to have it and it was so inexpensive. Um, so I think I roughly spent around $100 in total for everything that I got, including the furniture, which I don't think is that bad. A little more than I was expecting to spend while I'm here, but it was worth it. <laughs> I don't regret it. Got some cute stuff. I'm going to a place called Suzanne's Bakery, and that is a little bakery in Gig Harbor. I didn't really see anything around here that was open. There's a lot of like bakery type like coffee places and cafes around here, but they're all closed. It says temporarily closed, almost as if they haven't really caught up to um, like opening up for COVID around here yet. Like even the place I went to, the bathrooms were closed, like this flea market. So if you're going, keep in mind that the bathrooms are closed. Um, I had to like kind of schmooze a little and say I drove from Tacoma, I drank an entire coffee, I'm going to explode, I can't concentrate, and this woman was like, follow me. So she took me back to the bathrooms. Um, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> so that was fun, I enjoyed myself. I'm trying to get Lyle to text me back if he wants food um, so that I can see if he wants food to go or not. Suzanne's was hella busy. <laughs> that was insane. I was worried my cake was gonna melt, but look what I got. <gasps> Strawberry cake. And then a couple of sandwiches. I just wanna make sure they got it right. Okay, good. Got some got panini sandwich. All right, so I'm gonna go home eat and then show you guys what I got at the thrift store. Successful day. And Lyle is home waiting for his lunch. Perfect too because he didn't eat lunch today. So when I called him he was like I'm so hungry and I was like well I just so happen to be going to a cafe. <laughs> Lucky you. Look at that sandwich. Yum. This pasta salad, pesto pasta. Oh my gosh. There's a better look at that pie. <clears throat> Hello. I just housed down that sandwich and pesto pasta. It was delightful. And now I'm gonna do a haul of the lovely goods that I found at the Bremerton Flea Market. <laughs> All right, got a bag of goodies. And the first thing I'm gonna show you just to get out of the way is the furniture. This puppy. Look at this beautiful vanity chair. It is peach, peachy pink, double cushioned. So like the cushion, as you can see, has like two tiers to it. And it has these handles on the side. It's really, really sturdy. Um, I could only imagine what the vanity actually looked like that this matched, because surely it has a matching um, desk that went with it. I'm assuming, I would think. But regardless, I don't mind mismatched furniture because it just gives it even more of that thrifted, vintage vibe. And this thing is great. $20. I, I honestly, I wasn't in the market for one, but the price had me. I couldn't say no to it. And it's my signature color, peach. Now let's dive into the clothing because I got some really exciting vintage clothes. I think in order for something to be considered vintage, it has to be 20 years old. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will write the correction here. But that's what I understand to be vintage. So technically things from the 80s are even considered vintage, which that doesn't sound vintage to me, but I grew up in a time where when you hear that word, you think 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s. It's weird getting older. <laughs> oh, the breeze. 
The breeze has a very distinct ocean smell to it today. I don't know what it is, but everywhere I went today, I can smell the ocean. And that's my favorite thing ever. Uh, so this was one of the first things I snagged off of this rack of many vintage clothes. It, it really did remind me of Scorpio rising here in Tacoma, where everything was just like very specifically from like certain eras and categories. I could be wrong, but that's what it felt like to me. So this dress, it's lacy up top with these pearl buttons. Sleeves are lacy as well. And then it goes down into a pleated skirt. And then look at this lace at the bottom. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with like lacy things as you can see. Lining underneath and then this is what really tickled my fancy. Look at that, a little like clip to adjust the size. So if you want it to be smaller or bigger, you can move the clip. These are also good for sweaters. If you wanna like close your sweater, but you don't wanna button your sweater, it gives you a little space to have a gap in between. I used to collect these and uh, I don't know where any of them are. <laughs> and then the other thing is that underneath, the, the second layer is detachable. So this is actually like a slip how sexy this would just be so fun for like a sexy night out somewhere where you take off the dress and then you're left with this and then some sort of like beautiful matching set underneath I mean that just screams take me on a date and then that means that you can do the dress completely see-through and have fun with various bras underneath so this is really two pieces in one um, and it says that it's a 1980s dress um, and the brand is called Amy 2. There you go. From Bayer, California. Cool. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to look it up. I love like discovering these brands and then looking them up. All right. The fan is blowing it. As you can see, it's just so hot. I'm like, I'm not suffering through another try on haul without some sort of airflow in here. It's unbearable. Uh, but yeah, this is really cute. I I actually really like this. It almost looks like something that you can wear to um, some sort of bridal special event. I mean, obviously when you see lace and off-white and pearl, you think wedding or christening. This I could wear with like a belt and maybe some fun shoes and jazz it up to make it. Or even I can wear like a vest over it to give it less of a fancy looking vibe and a little bit more day to day you know but I don't think we should have to wait to wear fancy clothing I don't think I just feel like everybody I'm not trying to offend anybody but I feel like we're just all stuck in a rut of like not wearing our nice stuff it could be just being stuck at home with nowhere to go and nothing to do but I just feel like when I go out I don't see a lot of people dressed up but when I see a girl making effort and has a really cute outfit on, I notice it right away and I always try to say something because I feel like we should, we buy all these nice clothes and then we just throw on yoga pants and a sweater. You know what I mean? Like I just, I want to express myself a little bit more in my clothing. Um, so I'm not going to wait for a reason to wear it. I'm just going to wear it when I feel like it. I'm going to wait when you meet me. <laughs> Here's the back with the buckle. I would probably have to get lyle to like make sure that it's centered because it looks like it's kind of been moved but get him to kind of center it a little bit better but the back of it's really cute and it's really flowy and airy it's nice and the next thing we got i'm a sucker for like a meringue yellow this is yellow this is like yellow <laughs> and it was all yellow this is the most interesting material it's like waffle print almost high-waisted homemade vintage so it's homemade no label gosh I should just keep this and make this like the if I can learn pleating like this that would be a whole new ball game I really need to take a sewing class I didn't even check to make sure the zipper worked of course, yeah. it does thank god then it has three enclosures in the back so this is a really high-waisted but very long 
yellow skirt. Whoever made this is, they're really good at what they're doing. Kudos to whoever sat there with their hands in their sewing machine and made this beautiful skirt. Here is the lemon yellow skirt. I have realized that this is my favorite skirt shape on me. I love this so much. This is so cute. There's one problem. I can't make it close in the back. <laughs> but I really am working on this area of my body, um, especially cutting out alcohol, beer, all that. So I imagine a lot of the water weight is gonna drop off over time. It makes me want to make a skirt like this. So I'm gonna practice pleating and see if I can try to whip one together with some material. And looking for material specifically like this that's really just vintage retro feeling. But how cute. The day that I'm able to put this skirt on, I will cry a happy tear and I'm gonna go frolic in a field somewhere in it and live my best life. This was the same booth but on the other side and things kind of switched from being more like on the vintage side to being more um, unique, I guess. Like there was more kimonos and like bathing suits and things on the other side and the tags changed as well. They weren't the same. So I don't know who operates the booze, but look at that. It's a Hawaiian shirt dress, but it was one of those things that when I saw it, it gave me a butterfly in my stomach. And when I do, when I get butterflies from an outfit, it's because I can picture myself basically wearing this around the house like a house dress. Really comfortable, really comfortable house dress, but still feeling kind of glam. I mean, it's goals, isn't it? Pop over to the coffee shop, you know? And it says that it's a Hawaiian dress, a Hawaiian original. Hilo Hattie, made in Hawaii. You see that? The Hawaiian dress. I mean, how cute. It's so comfortable. It really feels like you're sleeping in sheets. Like when you have it on, you're like, should I go lay down? <laughs> it's so comfortable. I really like the placement of the sleeve. It drops just a hair below my shoulder, but I like the look of that. I just think it looks really stylish I guess is the word I'm thinking of. It has a really great length to it all the way down to my feet. It has a little slit on both sides for some air and room to go downstairs and I just wish I had pockets. It's the only thing. Zips up no problem and it's a little bit just a little possibly just a little baggy on me so if I wanted to I could belt it. Just practice with the brown belt. I mean, I know that this would be a really fancy house dress to relax in, but you gotta like make yourself happy. And if wearing a house dress that's a Hawaiian uh, shirt dress, then go for it. You know what I mean? I love this tag. Love, love it. This is really nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> kind of forgot about this. I almost forgot about like what I got because I was in a trance the whole time. So when I got home, I was like, it's going to be a surprise to me as well. <laughs> so this is a set. It is a nightgown set. I'm a sucker for vintage nightgowns um, because they're just the softest and the best thing to sleep in. Honestly, I sleep in this type of stuff where it's silky and I can slide around in it. I can't do pants. I can't do anything constricting. I can't wear things that are tight. It has to be loose so I can like swim around in it. And I really like the... If you can see it, it's got pearls, little tiny pearls. Oh, how dainty and adorable. Love this. And then it has, it's a two piece. It has a matching, lovely cover, like a little robe cover to go over it. But like how glam, you know, like just no big deal. Waking up to let the dogs out and tend to my garden in my matching baby blue nightgown. This is from Barbizon. Barbizon? Vintage nightgown robe. It's this size small. Hopefully it'll fit. If it doesn't, guess where it's going? 
but it was only 16 bucks so it was worth getting it and you guys know I'm not gonna leave you hanging and not tell you whether or not the nightgown fitted fitted fit me or not uh, it totally does I really like this silky cover it's a little hot so I probably wouldn't wear this whole thing well actually in the mornings it's pretty chilly so I could toss this on even now in the mornings depending on the temperature outside here is the nightgown top if I take my bra off it's not gonna be so funky looking but it is just a, a titty bit tight around here and that is where you can tell it's a small for sure but otherwise really comfortable um, to me this is sexy I know to a lot of people when I watch Love Island especially this is not something one of the gals would wear on Love Island <laughs> to bed this is like grandma wear but I love it I'm old school I really think that this is like a sexy outfit to wear to bed I feel sexy in it so my kind of lingerie here's my favorite thing that I got absolutely favorite it is a oh god it's beautiful it's a pink apron dress cover how I love Lucy is this beauty this is something I want to make for my store so I want to use this as a pattern to make more because I think this is something that we should bring back ruffle at the bottom and then it has ties for the back and ruffles on the sleeves which you guys have seen with my upcycling designing that ruffled sleeves is everything to me right now <laughs> so and the color if you're trying to figure it out because I won't sit still is a really beautiful blush pink but then it has these off-white creamy little flowers all over it it's just so beautiful I don't know if somebody made it or if it is a brand there's no tag so again we have another possibly homemade thing I mean they double lined it like it's it's double lined so the inside of it is just the soft material and the outside is the more crunchy fabric it would be so cute over some like yoga pants even like it's it's gonna be a very versatile little like accent garment to put over a lot of stuff to get creative with so this one has my heart I'm kind of obsessed <laughs> like look at how cute when I took this off the mannequin um, and was giving the money to the gal who ran the booth that I got this from this woman this like older woman walked up and said um, I want to come to whatever party you're throwing in that and I said you are welcome to come and I'll bake you a cake <laughs> and then another gal was walking by and went I'll bake you a cake that's so cute like we just had a moment it was perfect um, so I'll always remember that little interaction little exchange that I offered to bake this old lady a cake in this dress um, it's not even a dress it's a apron cover so something that I always admired and loved in I love Lucy is that Lucy ball would have on a dress and then she'd have on like an extra dress over top of it that was for cleaning or for whatever but they were always still so glamorous for being dress covers like dress aprons um, and sometimes she would take them off and this beautiful gown would be underneath so it just it reminds me of that time and clothing was just so beautiful back then it's just it's a beaut okay tried all that on really enjoyed that only one thing didn't fit and i think i can make it work still so i'm gonna get creative thank you so much for watching this i hope you enjoyed i want to do a lot more of these so give me thumbs up if you really enjoyed it comment and just share the love show the love so that i know that people are enjoying these videos so that is all i've got for today please subscribe if you aren't already that would be a big help to me hit the bell if you want to get notified when i upload and I will see you guys at the end of the week on this week's vlog. Bye-bye.